So normally I don't build a lot of cutting boards, but when I do, I like to put feet on them. So Home Depot has some really nice feet, rubber feet that go on the bottom. So these are the tools that I'll use. Obviously I use my pencil to mark everything, but I use the Craig marking tool to measure and make sure my points are exact where I want them. I use an awl to strike that point to make sure that that hole's there. Obviously I use my trusty hammer with that. And then I use my trusty rigid drill driver in order to drill that pilot hole so I know the hole is exactly where I want it. So let's go make some of these holes, get these feet installed, and we'll show you what the finished product looks like. So let's go ahead and use that Craig marking tool to set my spot about an inch in from each side on the corners. Get that set. Use my awl to set my mark. So I have a good point of where I'm going to start. Set that in. Use my rigid drill driver to really set that pilot hole so I know exactly where I'm going to be. I don't go too deep. I just want it deep enough. Grab my foot, insert the screw in there. Failed to mention my screwdriver in the earlier video. Use my screwdriver, set that foot in, secure that nice and tight. That's it, one screw in, let me go get the rest, and then we'll show you what the finished product looks like. All right, all four feet are in. You can see them mounted there. Let's flip this baby over and see what it looks like. Four feet, nice and stable, ready to sit on a counter and do some good work on this cutting board. Thanks for watching.